this is it. So let's begin. Let's see what's coming your way. And we do have the Three of Wands and the Two of Swords. We might have you in two minds about and waiting to make a decision, right? I'm blindfolded. What's going on? We don't know what's going on. That's the point and that's why we wait, right? We don't know exactly. Three of Wands, the Magician in Reverse. We, we feel insecure, so we prefer to wait, okay? Maybe we feel we don't have the tools, but the magician is here to tell you, no, you do have the tools. You don't have, you don't need to feel insecure. You have no, re you have no reasons actually. And we do have the six of pentacles in reverse, right? Nobody's generous. Nobody's kind. Everybody's at a distance. The situation might be a little bit out of balance, might be a money issue here. And we prefer to wait. It can be your other person, right? It's a general Three of Wands with the Eight of Wands. We wait, but boy, we have a fire in our belly with the Eight of Wands. You are passionate or the person you are dealing with, they are extremely passionate about something. Three of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse. We are recovering. We are passionate about getting back on our feet again. Okay. So let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for this time. And we do have the temperance in reverse. We might be a little bit out of balance. Four of Cups, we've missed an opportunity. And the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Seven of Cups. There is a notion of confusion even through the shuffling, right? Somebody is confused. That is like... <clears throat> um, we don't see the full picture. We've missed something. Like the universe showed us something and we were not uh, fully present. And ever since we are a little bit confused here, what's going on, baby? And the Queen of Swords. I do love the clarity that comes with the Queen of Swords, but maybe you and the Gemini Libra or Aquarius, maybe you have air in your chart and that's how you show up here. But I'm sensing, you know, it's, it's a journey towards clarity, absolutely. And choices probably, and we're finally being able to make a choice of some sort. Seven of Cups, right? We have also options, but the choice is a bit <laughs> i'm sorry i know i shouldn't talk like this but hey from time to time i allow myself to say big words so uh, this is how it feels like so let's see the confusion let's see where this um stems from right so past energy spices on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies current ones and mutual energies and let's have the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with we cannot be that confused we do have the ten of wands oh we have two and the king of swords a connection might have and the three of pentacles in reverse oh hell yeah um we do have the strength if it comes back again we know it's yours so so, 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 so we are a little bit burdened. You know what I love about this, um, Pisces? I do love the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. You know why? Because it is the, it is the energy of now we know where we stand, you know? Um, it's this energy of, yeah, I might be rough around the edges, but you know what? I do speak my truth. So now you know, you know? So I love this because whatever confusion, as long as we speak our truth, um, that is uh, the most important, right? And it might come with burdens and out of balance situation till we figure out how to uh, clean the message and and clarify a little bit. And um, this, is, this is you a little bit in, in your emotions about, but clarity is absolutely coming. Three of Pentacles in reverse might be a separation here. We are a little bit confused, a little bit surprised, a little bit burdened, so let's see. So Pisces in the past, oh, isn't it beautiful? You really gave them everything, right? We have the Two of Cups and the King of Cups. This is you with so much love. Coming into this union and into this commitment with so much love, a soulmate bond, right? Emotions, the body, mind, and soul connection. And with your, of course, emotional maturities. Um, and I do love the King and Queen of Cups. For me, it's... Um, 
emotional intelligence, right? We relate to people, we keep in control our emotions, we have, um, you know, rich social connections with people and, and relationships. And this is how it feels, right? Like a strong emotional bond that was really um, um, oh, I'm missing the word doubled by love oh, 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 oh I know, right? they might have been more mature than you or maybe you were the one um, I don't want to say older but you get my point now the person you are dealing with um, the judgment and the Queen of Swords in reverse again, this energy of a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius you might be dealing with, but um, they might have uh, made a decision. Now the point is, I'm not sure they talk to you about, because Swords in reverse is also about hiding things, um, lying, mind games. Um, it's the energy of manipulation, um, it's as simple as that, plus the Swords in reverse, they hurt. So I'm sure whatever decision they've made, was a hurtful one and um, it was final I'm not sure you had a word in this and I uh, it feels like it happened when you loved this person the most right and um, and it's it, this is the energy of uh, making decisions in hiding right while they are away and they cannot share whatever um, this is Mutual energy is between you and this person. We do have the sun in reverse, Leo energy, but this is the energy of unhappiness and truth not being spoken. And we have the six of uh, six of wands, um, combination of energy saying that there was a, a lot of ego and pride in between the two of you. Um, we might have um, had struggles, um, you know, and it's more on their side, right? More on their side, a little bit of... Um, of decisions out of ego pride and um, you know people are watching so I better be you know or uh, because they are watching I'm making decisions because you know I need to show something I need to demonstrate something and I believe they walked away we have this energy of somebody really saying goodbye here and um, kind of final right kind of final this is boom um, changing um, ending a chapter and I can understand the confusion. You have energies of confusion out of nowhere, right? Out of the blue. Um, we have this. And we also have the King of Swords in reverse, which kind of tells me that a dynamic might have um, um, become a little bit, right? Um, painful, toxic. We are answering to adversity with adversity, to ego with ego. This is a little bit how it feels we are at right now burdened by it and out of balance but we know we need to put the burdens down somebody here is actually extremely aware that this situation cannot actually continue like that and yes that was love but we can we have to make a change here we have to make a change and we have to make choices right to put burdens down to get back in balance um to get back to some fair energies and um smart communication we do have the King of Swords in reverse, which can be a masculine um, energy being a little bit unfair and just, but in the same time also have the feminine energy in reverse. So we have hurting swords. That's what I want to say. And then we have the Queen of Swords upright, which is the energy of, um, you know, coming to our senses and saying, you know what, let's be smart here. Let's, um, you know, let's do what needs to be done. Um, Pisces, where are we right now? We do have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and the Ten of Wands. So, might be a commitment to marriage you have with this person. Um, based on love, based on emotions, it was, we might have had kids. Um, we do have the, um, the Sun. Um, but we are putting the burdens down, right? Um, it feels like this is too much, you know, and this is the energy of, yes, I felt love, but you know, uh, at some point, so yes, I I was extremely emotionally involved and now it's like you know I'll stay committed but I we something has to change right and we have actually um, Pisces you have the ten of wands twice in reverse so it can be a piece of advice for some of you 
um, can be your own energy here saying, you know what? Um, yeah, I will have to change. I will have to end something. If this connect, if you want my commitment, right? Because you have the Hierophant, which is commitment. Of course, it can be a Taurus in your life, but I'm sensing, you know, when something becomes heavy and we need to make choices and, and we tell the other person, you know what? Um, you know, when our, um, sit down conversations, right? It's like uh, something has to change, baby, because it is way too much. In order for this commitment to work, right? Changes are required. Now, Pisces, this person of yours, they have the Four of Wands and they have the Eight of Cups. Somebody is walking away. Probably they are away right now. I believe the decision was made in the past on their side. And now they keep going. Um, Eight of Cups is the energy of destiny calling. It's the energy of continuing to do what they need to do. I don't know if somebody abandoned the marriage here. Um, it can very well be. Maybe you still believe that is hope. Uh, if we make some changes while this person is saying, well, um, you know, I have a destiny to fulfill. I have to go towards my Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. And seeing this deck, it's such a beautiful... That is, right, the person is going towards the Nine of Cups here. That is just the shadow of the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment, right? They want and need something, something else. It can be stability or they might feel um, that their stability is someplace else for now. And probably um, this is how we have the situation right now. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the lovers in reverse. We might be emotionally disconnecting from each other right now. And the two of wands. And yet, I haven't turned my back on you. They haven't turned their back on you, right? So this is the energy of um, this is not over. I'm, you are probably not choosing a different path. They are not choosing just one, but they keep going. Um, whatever, you know, the destiny leads them. Um... Maybe not making a final choice on your side. That's how we get the two of wands. But yet with the lovers in reverse, that is emotional distance between you. There is um, emotional withdrawal um, in some way for different reasons. One is because destiny is calling the other one because they need to put the burdens down. It became too much. Uh, and of course, you take the side that resonates the most with you. In terms of um, energies, we do have Sagittarius. We have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius three times. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like yourself, we do have Leo energy and Taurus energy and Gemini energy again. So let's see moving forward, uh, Pisces. Moving forward, we do have the King of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, so this might be over. Pisces, this might be kind of the universe harsh way this morning to say, you know what, um, love wise is going to be, you know, um, kind of it's time to move on, but financial wise, king of pentacles, right? In terms of stability, money, your own life, your own everyday life, you'll be fine. King of pentacles is the energy of abundance, is the energy of caring, is the energy of being of kindness. Um, you know, generosity towards family, community, people around you. But this love might be over, actually. You know, the burdens and the pain, at some point we say stop. And we realign with the new reality, right? And whatever intuition and destiny are telling us. So, um, might also be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn in your life and they might get hurt in the process. The minute you put the burdens down, the other person might be like, yeah, but I'm heartbroken, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I haven't turned my back on you. But yet that is a destiny, that is a path that they are taking slowly and that is something that they want and that was a decision that they've made in the past. And again, this can be your side. It's a general, but I'm sensing that um, you know, that is somebody here who made a choice in the past and they keep going and they align with whatever the destiny while this other person is like um, in pain and also trying to unload uh, the burdens. 
Pisces, this person of yours, Ten of Cups in reverse, no, they are not happy, and the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. But this is the energy of something uh, having been revealed or something coming your way and being revealed to this person and them not being happy about, right? It's also the energy of marriages being, um, you know, um, uh, undo, undone. Marriage is being undone. Why undone? Anyways, um, you get my point, right? And the Hermit, somebody went through a soul journey and it's interesting on their side. Eight of Cups and the Hermit, both are energies of shining a light, learning the lessons, following the path, following the destiny, the alignment. So this person actually, and with the judgment, are you kidding me? This is an awakening, unprecedented awakening, right? That's, that's a judgment. It's a big decision after a process that required a lot of thought, a lot of awakenings, a lot of enlightenment. And they keep going. They keep going. They are not 100% happy with this, but they keep going. That's um, the energy we are picking up. And it's interesting how on your side, because they keep going, you kind of put the loads down and it, you make peace in some way or you heal a broken heart of some way. Mutual energies between the two of you, two of swords, both thinking of each other, of each other. Page of Pentacles, that is an offer on the table, but the offer is to heal this um, relationship commitment. Again, you might have kids together. Um, and this is the energy of we have to make it work for the kids. Pages are children again. Two of Swords and Pages, it's we need to think about the, ch the children, right? That's the energy here. And with the star is, um, you know, we need to do what's right. We need to align. We need to come from a place of higher self in order to deal with this. And um, that is a form of um, healing of the thought, right? Um, we might be negative towards each other at this time. And this is what, uh, what explains the heartbreak. Um, it's because the way we manage whatever separation, whatever decision somebody made. It comes from a place of hurt and also a little bit of manipulation. Um, and um, and energy is coming your way. Are beautiful energies of let's be mature about King of Pentacles. It's let's be, you know, um, let's be kind to each other in the process and let's come from a place of healing and, um, and understanding and higher self. Uh, what is the best version of you? when we deal with this difficult situation right um my beautiful pisces this connection is over baby we don't have love on the table we don't have energies we have lovers in reverse right in the middle of the reading and the whole energy gravitates around the the emotional disconnection emotional withdrawal um, and I'm sensing this energy of it's time to move on. It is time to move on. And I believe it's, it, and again, you take the side you resonate uh, most with. But somebody here is, is going towards their destiny. While on this side, we are dealing with the everyday life and the burdens of separation and heartbreak. Um, but we keep going. We keep going. The destiny is calling actually both of you. Um, and with the swords in reverse, and it's a king of swords, which is, it's kind of like the emperor in reverse, a little bit less because the emperor has, um, in reverse, has a strong abuse of power, um, and manipulation for his own interest when it's in reverse, right? King of swords, there is a sense of unfairness, um, there is a sense of payback with it. So I don't know who feels, um, revengeful, um, but I love it because it goes to the Queen of Swords, upright, you know, we will find middle ground, we will come to our senses and the mind will take over the emotions, um, the negative emotions we are going through. And the pain, I don't know if negative emotions, but it, um, out of pain, we might um, make decisions, you know. So let's ask for some guidance, um, Pisces. Oh, baby, you are limitless. Somebody needs to hear. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. I'm, I'm hearing free, but it can be limitless. Limitless is kind of the same. 
but I'm sensing you are free and you are limitless and you can do anything you choose. We do have true love, Pisces. They might be your true love. This love is once in a lifetime. Bottom of the deck, focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. So whatever struggle you have with somebody, it looks like it was true love. And honestly, in the past, you came with the Two of Cups and the King of Cups, right? You gave it all of yourself in this connection that was true love. But you are limitless and you, you, you know how I'm receiving this. And of course, you have to let me know how you receive this. But it's like you are limitless. Focus on love. Do not give up on love. This is what I'm hearing, right? Of course, this um, this connection is, um, well, the connection might still be there. Um, but this relationship is um, exhausted. This is how I'm, um, I'm picking up the energies here. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands, right? Self-protection, your bubble, your uh, well-being. So, but in this deck, of course, it's a little bit different. So you've, you've um, worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, and hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures in you are being constantly protected by your angels, in return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment need your protection. Um, so it's kind of a message from heaven. Know that you are protected. You have nine ones around you, right? We do have the page of ones, messenger of action in this deck. So something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going, although you may feel insecure. Do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life, or maybe you, who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life, and who wants to try everything. It's interesting, I'm sensing more like, be passionate and know that you are protected. This is how it feels, right? Um, can be a new passionate endeavor that you um, dive into, or you are guided, actually, to find a passion um, to dive into. And know that you are protected. You don't need to worry. We do have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. I'm sensing, right? We don't have to be envious on people. Um, the energy is just, um, you know, the awareness to get back into the flow. The awareness of not judging and not comparing. Loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. What's going on, Pisces? Do you feel alone, baby? You are not alone. This is a reminder for somebody. You are not alone. You are never alone. Friendship. I understand that the friend is in my life for a reason. So maybe you are guided to bring friends into your life, right? Maybe you are guided to be more social. Spend time with um, like-minded people, you know, have light-hearted energies of exchanges and chit-chatting and, you know, and we have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Maybe some of you need a change in friendship. Maybe for some of you a change in, in, in um, your relationships because you might feel lonely and actually you need friends, right? It's interesting, envy, loneliness, friendship, change. So I don't know if you feel lonely because of energies of judging people or I don't know, an envy of some sort. Maybe you had a situation with a friend and, you know, kind of the energies, you know, the advice for some of you is like, well, that is a change in friendship and that's all right. We need new friends, right? And Pisces, we do have surrender, low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. So this connection kind of got you on your knees. Now I understand, baby. But, but know that you are protected and find your passion because this one is over, baby. This one is not for us. This one is keeping us on our knees, burdened, out of balance, in an unfair energy, right? Somebody is not fair to us. Somebody is not kind to us. Somebody is not generous. So, 
and in return it's not because you know they are journeying themselves they are on a path they are unhappy themselves and when we are unhappy how can we give um happiness to people right around us or the people we love so um but this is, this is all that i have for you guys please stay strong and safe for me you have to promise me as always please let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time love you take care bye